Sometimes on the weekend, you get bored. You don't know what to do, and you just you're just sitting there, and then all of a sudden it hits you. What were the significant features of the Silk Road in the Indian Ocean trade? First of all, the Silk Road wasn't made of silk. It was an expansive network of trade routes. It allowed merchants to exchange with merchants from different regions. What did they trade? Art, carpet, tapestries, embroideries, silk, lacquerware, sable fur, fox fur, badger fur, jade, semi-precious stones, and bronze. And it didn't always stay the same. As new cultures entered the area through invasion, trade intensified with new products and new demand, along with protected roads. After the collapse of the classical empires and around the rise of Moscow, the Silk Roads expanded northwards to meet the newer societies north of the steppes. But why was the Silk Road even important? Well, it created a single world system for Afro-Eurasia, an underlying, underlying basic culture that stayed the same throughout the area. They exchanged not only goods, but ideas and language and disease. But wait, what about the Indian Ocean trade? <laughs> Southernization was pretty important too. The spread of goods and ideas through after your race changed the world as much as the Silk Road. Through cultural diffusion by land and sea, the Indian Ocean trade routes exchanged cotton, gold, sugar, spices, porcelain, and gunpowder. The trade road changed as well. Originally, the overseas trade route from India to China was dangerous and had portages of goods, but they invented a newer route that would get them to China and back more easily and without land travel. They also found a route to the Spice Islands in the Moluccas, allowing them to trade spices with the world. The trade route was was important because it allowed innovations and inventions such as chopper rice and the zero number system to spread, which allowed for a population boom and even more mathematical advancements.